Hi, this video we're going to know the concept of 3D equilibrium. Um, this is uh, for the situation where all the forces going through the same point. Um, and uh, so for example, here uh, you can see all the forces going through point D. Okay. Um, then how do we solve this type of problem for 3D? We know we are going to have three equations, forces some forces at y and some forces at z they all equal to zero then we'll have three equations then we can certainly solve three unknowns and for this problem um, we will be finding the tension in those three cables so if we were to label them on this fbd diagram we'll have tension from d to c and the tension DA and the tension DB. Also, the weight of this bucket is known. So the weight is going downward, straight downward, is 20 pounds. And uh, then we need to find those three unknowns. So in order to do that, we're going to use our force along a line concept that's in the previous video. Our first step is trying to express, for example, TDC, which is a vector, has a hat, in a IJK term. So we need to find out what are they. And the same was for TDA and TDB. Um, then, so that's our first step. Let's go ahead to look at TDC. In order to do this, we need to have a coordinate. And this problem already have a coordinate. That's origin. And our x is actually going forward, as you can see here. And y is to the right, and z is going upward. Now, we normally have to figure out the position vector dc from d to c. and uh, you can either figure out the coordinate of D and C respectively and find a difference, or you can start to look at the coordinate difference. So let's look at coordinate difference. TDC, X direction is here, so it's from C minus D. C is behind of D, so this is gonna be negative. And how much behind? It's on X coordinate, and which is gonna be this value, negative 1.5. I. Now let's look at J term for this position vector from D to C. Y direction is to the right. And um, so to the right, D is 1.5 on the Y coordinate. C is 2.5 on the coordinate. So in that situation, it's a C minus D. We're going to use 2.5 minus 1.5. That's going to be our J. Now let's look at a K term. K term is Z direction, means how, what's the height difference. And C is certainly above D. And how much above? D is on this plane, bottom plane, X, Y plane. And our C is three foot high. So it's three. That's the height difference between them. Then with that, we have our we have our position vector DC. So DC is going to be equal to negative 1.5i plus 1j plus 3k. Then the next thing we need to figure out is DC magnitude, the distance between that. So using Pythagorean theorem, we can find out the distance, distance between them. So I put into my calculator, and let's see what we got. So I have 3.5 foot. That's the distance between D and C. Now we are almost ready to find out TDC in a vector form. And remember, it's going to be TDC without a hat, that's a magnitude, times the position vector over DC. So for this situation, 
Since we don't know TDC is one of the unknown, we're just going to write down like a variable TDC times DC vector form 1.5i plus j plus 3k, then divide by 3.5. Then we can simplify that, our TDC, so bring TDC to every single term. So the, for the first term, I will have negative 1.5 over 3.5 TDC. J term will have just TDC over 3.5 J. And last term will have 3 TDC over 3.5, okay? All right, so knowing that, we're going to do the same thing for the other tension. So the next step is trying to find a TDA. Same way how you did it, same logic. Um, and here I'm going to try and to just do everything in one step. Let's see how that goes, okay? So it's going to be TDA, magnitude, unknown, you're solving, over position vector DA, over the distance. TDA, now we need to figure out the position vector from D to A. So it's A minus D, final minus initial. First, X coordinate difference. X coordinate difference, let's see. D is 1.5 on X coordinate. A is 4.5 coordinate. So D is, um, so A, if you use A minus D, so A is more forward than D, then we're gonna get a positive value. So using 4.5 minus 1.5. That's going to be our I term. Now let's look at J term. J is at this direction in Y, and so it's A minus D. So A is on this plane, XC plane. So Y coordinate to read out will be zero, and D is 1.5. So A minus D will be our 0 minus 1.5, that's going to be our j. Now let's look at the k term, which is our z direction. Um, a is certainly above d, and how much above? a is 3 foot high here, and d is on x, y, z xy plane so z will be zero so it's going to be 3k that's the high difference between them all right so that's what we got so far and we're going to find out the magnitude so 4.5 minus 1.5 is 3 3 square plus 1.5 square for the j and then plus 3 square let's see what we got for the distance so, and then the answer here is 4.5, okay? So it's 4.5 foot. Then plug it in, find I term, J term, and make sure you're going to times your TDA. So it's a three TDA over 4.5. That's far I term. Our J term become negative 1.5 over 4.5 TDA. So, okay, here I made a mistake, it's TDA. TDA, J term. And our K term will be three over 4.5, our TDA, K term. All right, so you got expression for your tension in TDA. Then we're going to use in the same logic to find out the tension in TDB. 
and I already start to like TDB. Why? Because it's like a horizontal line, so it will be way much easier. So TDB is horizontal. Uh, then how do we go ahead and solve it? You can use force along a line as well to go ahead and figure it out. So for finding TDB, um, what is the easiest way? Think about TDB is at uh, negative y direction, right? It's pulling to the left, so it's negative y direction. So if it's unity vector, just define the direction. We know it's going to use j because in y axis and it's on negative. So it's negative j. And that defines the direction. And in order to find, define the magnitude, we don't know the force magnitude. That's one, one of the three unknowns. So it will be just TDBJ. Voila, you finish your expression for TDB. OK, so this is a simple way to do. Uh, very quick way. Hopefully you are convinced how to do that. But if you really want to figure it out using the force along a line, I'm going to show you one time. So you know you're going to get the same results. Okay. So if you're using the TVB, TDB in force along a line, you're going to using magnitude and position vector TDB, a DB over DB. Now our focus is to figure out this position vector from D to B. So it's B minus D, final minus the initial. Now let's look at the x-axis. They all are at the same x-axis. So that would be 0i. And now let's look at J. So it's B minus D. And B is 0 and D is 1.5. So it's 1.5 behind. It's negative 1.5 J. Now let's look at K. D and B is on the same Z axis. They're all at the bottom plane. So they all have a coordinate at 0. So that's going to be 0 K. Then we're going to figure out the magnitude. So it's 0 square plus 1.5 square plus 0. And then we know that's going to give us 1.5, right? Then we are going to simplify for the i term. It's canceled. For the j term, we'll have a negative 1.5 over 1.5 TDB j. And k term is canceled because it's 0. So what do we have? Negative TDB j. Same answer as this one right here. And so why not using the simple one? Because it's at negative y axis, so just negative j. So use that actually extrapolate it in the future problems. If in the future problems you have a force that is on perfect axis, regardless x or y or z, then use that. If it's on x-axis, take i. If it's on y-axis, take j as unit vector. If it's a z-axis, take k. And if it's on the negative x-axis, take, take negative i. You understand, you get my point, right? <laughs> so the last force we're going to be looking at is a perfect example on that because the weight is on perfect negative z direction, right? It's going downward. It's a negative z direction for this coordinate they draw. Then, however, this one, they already give us the magnitude. So the magnitude is 20, and it's on negative z direction. So z take k, so negative 20k. We got our answer, right? Magnitude is 20, and that tells us it's going straight downward at the z direction. Then you have all the four forces on in expressed in ijk term and then go back our goal is trying to solve three equations to get three unknowns so now it's time to construct the three equations first equation we're going to sum of all the x component there are total four forces and each of them are ijk form 
So TDC, what's our? I'm gonna use rainbow color. What's our I term? X component is that term, right? And a TDA, I term is here. TDB, there's no I term because it's only J right here. And the T, uh, the weight, there's no I term either. So if when you add all those four together, you will have this equation. Negative 1.5 over 3.5, our T DC plus 3 TDA over 4.5 plus 0 plus 0 equals 0 because it's at equilibrium. All right. Now we're going to look at summation of forces at y. What do we have? Summation of forces at y, TDC, which is our j term, TDC over 3.5, and TDA have its j term, which is right here, negative 1.5 over 4.5 TDA. Then TDB indeed have a J term is negative TDB. And our weight don't have a J term, so it's plus zero. That's going to give us equal to zero as well. Now we're going to construct our very last equation, sum forces at Z. Let's go back to the first equation. Blue is going to be our K term. 3 TDC over 3.5. And how about our DA term? It does have a K term. 3 over 4.5 TDA. And a TDB has no K term. So it's plus zero, and for weight has a K term negative 20 equals zero. So we have equation one, two, and three. Now we're just going to solve it. Remember, in the previous video on 2D equilibrium, we're talking about to solve a set of linear equations or system, system equation, and you can either use a calculator, figure out what model you have and how to set it up. Uh, likely you are using matrix and uh, REF operation on your calculator, or you can use online calculator, or like the one I will be using is Wolfram, or you can use Excel. So now we're going to use Wolfram to try to solve this problem. So now I'm at uh, Wolfram Alpha, and uh, if you want to do, uh, if you're following at the same time, you just uh, uh, Google search Wolfram Alpha and uh, Linear Equation Solver. That will likely take you to this website. And uh, then thinking about those three equations we have, and uh, we're going to input this into Wolfram. Let's see if I can do that. The first equation have two unknowns, TDA and TDC and TDA. However, you know, uh, when you're using this Wolfram, they can only take one letter variable. Um, so we have to decide. And how about we decide using uh, this TDC using a letter C and the TDA using a letter A and the TDB, we're using letter B. Those are the three variables we are solving, right? So let's go ahead and use that. So in the first equation, we'll have negative 1.5 over 3.5, then TDC, which is our C times C, then plus 3 over 4.5, times A, 
that's our TDA, that equals zero. Then separate by comma, we move on to solve the second equation, our C over 3.5 minus 1.5 over 4.5, then times A, the minus TDB, which is just B, that equals zero. Then the last equation, 3 over 3.5, TDC, which is times C. And uh, then we're going to plus 3 over 4.5 and times A minus 20. That equals 0. Let's see how, how they take it. So click on Enter. Um, let's look at the equation. Is this what uh, input we wanted? And I'm verifying it, and uh, hopefully you are doing the same thing. And uh, looks good to me. And then they go ahead and get our results. So that's their solution. They said uh, A is going to be equals ten. That's our answer. So take a picture and going back to our one note. So now let's go back. Uh, so T A is coming up, so that's our T D A. So T D A is ten, and our T D B is one point one one, and our T D C is fifteen point five six. And think about the unit. This weight is using pound, so all of this is going to take a unit of pound. That's our first example of a solving equilibrium. That's how that goes. Get all the forces, write down in IJK form, and then compile all the I terms together to get forces at the X equation. Do the same thing for J and K, and you have three equations. You solve three unknowns. So a lot of skills to needs to be mastered in order to solve this. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Have fun learning.